I'm all right. I'm all right. Damn right, you are, Gara. It's gonna be really funny if we look this up afterward to find out it's not Gara. If it's some... not Gara, I'm gonna feel like a dumbass. Yeah, because we're gonna get like comments spammed about it. It's not Gora. It's not Gora. <laughs> You're gonna be surprised. Oh, It'll be here any second. It sounds like Gora. <laughs> I'm putting my money down. It that, sounds like Gora. That sense doesn't sound like something Gara would say. It doesn't have to be. This is no time to joke around. Although I've heard her before too. I haven't. I don't. I don't know where though. It's one of them, Akihiko. Damn it, Dr. Pun, you know, you should know what's going on. Yes, but not an ordinary one. It's See? huge. See? That's Gara. It does sound like something Gara would say. Handle this, Dr. Pun. Dr. Pun can't do anything. No, he's not Mr. Chairman, he's Dr. Pun. We're gonna handle this huge thing. It's coming here. We'll stop it here. Take Dr. Pun and run. Glare! I love the dramatics. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! Oh look, you have to tell the book okay, three see, times. The slight, the slight fluctuation of his voice makes me kind of doubt myself, but I'm relatively certain that's Gara. Hmm. I'm I'm wait putting my bet down. Wait for the comments. It sounds like Gara. Hear a commotion down the hall. You just need to take a look. Yeah, and I'm fully dressed like I'm going to school. <laughs> Makes sense. Sorry, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. No, I'm naked. No, you're not in your clothes. You're ready to go to school, dude. No, the fucking night. I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now. Get out of here now. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? Remember, kids, always use the back door. Just in case. It's, dur it's dangerous out there. Take this. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Where were you hiding that? Short sword. Okay, let's go. In her hand. She probably had it in her hand. She reached behind her. No, she didn't. Yes, yeah, she did. Maybe she had the sheath in the it. back. She had the sheath in the back, you part of. What pack? I don't know. The scabbard. What's Gabbard? The sheath. Whatever you want to call it. What sheath? The she had in the back? If anything, you, you should ask him. Where is he hiding now? Oh, I know where I'm hiding. Oh, joy. Fun. So the big thing is not here yet. Damn. Smaller ones kind of come first. Mm. Then the big one comes. Just no. Just the whole. Yeah. Just no. Yeah. Where's Dr. Pun during all this? Hiding in a fucking corner, probably. Damn it, Dr. Pun. I had more faith in you. He does nothing. This, is, this isn't even a spoiler. But he's Mr. Doctor so Super Pun. Esquire the Lord. Wait, it was Super Doctor. Super Doctor Pun, Esquire the, the Third. third. Super Dr. Pun Esquire the Third. You know what? Fuck it. That's what we should just name this section. Super Dr. Super Dr. Pun Esquire the, Esquire the Third. Okay, just gonna keep climbing upstairs. Just keep going upstairs. What's that? What's that? I don't know. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. Run! But these loafers weren't meant for running. Mm. I just noticed I'm wearing like plaid shoes. At least in that cutscene. Oh yeah, on the roof. I think we're okay for now. Yeah, because the door is gonna hold back whatever the hell's coming out. It actually does. They don't actually don't come through the door. Cutscene. Oh crap! Now you can 
see why I love this game way more than 4. You just don't get that feeling in 4. Yeah, fuck you. Come on, Yukari! You're a trained fighter! You can do it! Just fight off the shadow! That's right, you can do it! Come on! Now summon your persona, we'll be okay! Fuck, you're useless! She's a great character, ain't she? Yeah. She'll, she'll find her use. Hmm, mysterious gun. She's putting it up to her head. Now I wonder what I should do. You have to say, it is very interesting, because you could have just thought she was just trying to kill herself for the monster did. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Creepy kid. There. There. Wait. There. Sure thing, Dr. Pun. We'll wait. We should run up there to make sure he doesn't die, but... Don't wait, give him a little bit. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I can't say the, our character is really intelligent for doing this. Creepy kid. So You're right, there is an audio delay on this. I just noticed that. It's not that bad. This is bad news. I don't know why I'm smiling. Here we go. Oh, no. What? Oh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Thanatos has arrived. The great god of death. Now go fuck their shit up. You probably wonder why I was so quiet through all that. I just wanted you all to soak in all that bad news. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know how great What that are you going to say about this, Dr. Pun? I think they all just shit their pants. Yep. Except for Dr. Pun. Dr. Pun. Oh, no, never mind. Dr. Pun, Dr. Pun doesn't know. Dr. Pun shit his pants. When in doubt, if Dr. Pun doesn't know, then... I don't know what the hell we're going to do. You're giving Dr. Pun a lot of credit. I know. Once well power has subsided, Orpheus has regained his original form its original form. You have attained a new persona. Yeah, you know that badass persona? Yeah. You won't see him until probably part fifty of this let's play. Damn. He's gonna be gone for a long time. The right thing is if this let's play ever gets to fifty parts and I don't have to handle by now, everyone's gonna start complaining. Yeah, probably. If we've been waiting all this time. No, I want to use Orpheus. Come here, Orpheus. Bash the brains in. Progress! I'm actually playing! Hit him again! Bam! I do like it that when your personas do um, physical attacks, like bash and stuff, it doesn't cost SP, it costs um, HP. Mm -hmm. I leveled up. My hit points and my spirit points have gone up. I can now create level 2 personas. Something inside of me has changed. Orpheus leveled up. Yeah, your personas actually level up individually than you. 
Oh yeah, I know. It's magic one up by two. It's luck one up by one. Aggie. And, and he learned Aggie. Aggie. Tomato, go fuck yourself. That sounded at all. Gasp. Okay? No. Totally. I just blew my brains out with a mystical gun. Come on. Her mystical gun, mind you. Oh yeah. Say something. She's really nah. intelligent talking to an unconscious corpse. Nah, I'm not gonna say anything. Are you alright? I hope you're talking to Yukari. Can you hear me? Nope. Nah, I'm gonna lay here. Yeah. Is that mild hatred I hear in that voice? No. Irritants? Intolerance of her stupidity. Really? Slight intolerance. Really? Ah! It's Penguin. <laughs> it's so nice to see you again. Have you found that dastardly Bruce Wayne yet? He is Bruce Wayne, dude. To your power. You mean my you mean my family's vast fortune that I used to travel the world and become a martial arts master? No. I knew how to use that sword pretty well. No. Yeah. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Don't you tell me what to do, Penguin? I just blew my fucking brains out, so yeah, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna sit here. Mr. Gun. Okay. I was relaxing. I see that it was obvious that he did you call it. Other than who? Thanatos. That power is called the persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. And why is Dr. Pond not explaining all this? Um, why do we have the penguin explaining this to us? Actually, the sad thing is, like, ten minutes from now, when we wake up, Dr. Pond's going to explain this all again, too. Great. Yeah, they kind of beat around the bush a lot. Um, my, I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay. Not even I understand. It may take some time to fully come to him. Meh. Thanks, Igor. The penguin. Is a facet of your personality. The facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. Yes, penguin. You think of it as a mask that protects you as you wave many hardships. Or what a textbook definition of a persona is. No. Penguin doesn't know that. That being said, your power is still weak. Fuck you, Penguin. Penguin's gonna fuck your shit up. I'm the Velvet Knight. Yeah. You get used to it. I'm gonna refer to it as a... No. Yep. No. Yep. Damn it, no. Yep. What do you mean, weak? I'm Bruce Wayne. I'm the Batman. I'm the Velvet Knight, bitch. No. Yep. Batman. <laughs> It's the same thing. No. I'm just wearing blue. It's a Batman. <laughs> it's a Batman. He's a blue Batman. <laughs> the Azure Knight. See, that sounds cool. Okay, we're going with that. But it doesn't make sense with the game. Damn it. It's gotta be Velvet. The Night Room? Of course, we are looking at Penguin. Yeah. Probably like Penguin's supposed to be helping you. It's kind of weird, ain't it? Yeah, kind of ironic. Backwards, if you will. Sure thing, Penguin. Wait, we were talking about the Penguin, so I missed all that. Um, yeah, me too. No, it doesn't. Well, thanks for holding me up. Damn it, Penguin. Well, thank you, Penguin. Next time you meet, you will come here of your own accord. Yay. Until then... I beat you with you. Bye, Penguin. Your mind is getting clearer. You wonder how long you've been asleep. Feel someone's presence beside you. Is it Yukari? Yeah, uh, it's Yukari. See, she is helpful. You're awake. She stayed to make sure you are right. Yeah, you're going to really love this next part. Feel? No. Yep. Well, you're an ass. Thank goodness you finally came too. <laughs> How much sleep do you need? It's been a whole week. Really now, you were saying? Yeah. 
You'd, I'd, I'd joke around with somebody if they if they were passed out. I'm so worried about you. 